back to my channel if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel in the previous video we have seen how we can pass the data from parent to child and now we will going to see how we can pass the data from child to parent so let's see the uh, what we have learned in the pair in the uh, last video so we had added one component called customer and this was our parent component and this is our child component and in the from parent we have passed this title as a variable to child data and child data was responsible to display the data on the child component so if we see the child component uh, you with the help of add the rate input and child data holds the data whatever it passed from the app component and on the html we had displayed as this right so in the previous video i have explained in detail i'll share the link in the description box so now in this particular video we will see how we pass data from child to parent so it's a bit different uh, from parent to child in the case we when we pass data from child to parent with the help of emit we require one one event called emit so in this way we can pass the data from child to parent so let's go to the visual studio and we'll create one example so let me let me delete everything uh, okay i'll just remove this part it doesn't require as of now this is also not required and this is fine now i have to add I or or else I can say I have to import output with the help of output we need to also use the emit uh, event emitter event emitter is a part of output and uh, we'll say at the rate output output is a function right so okay we'll write in later uh, but let's finish the part of the parent component uh, here in order to capture the data from child to parent we need to define one function right i say get data we'll create this function and say value of any type because we'll pass one time string and then array that is why we have taken any and let's console it as of now or or we can um, you know we can use one value variable to display on the browser as well so it's a value right we have console the log and same method we have to pass here so in the previous video we have seen that we had used the uh, large bracket but here we will use the banana bracket or the uh, small bracket like this one and mention the variable and pass this function with the help of dollar event yeah we can name anything uh, like we say a uh, child child data right a uh, child child function data i would say now back to your customer component of ts file so with the help of add the rate output make as function and this for your function name and with which is event emitter of type i need to define the type here any yeah equal to new event emitter i need to create the instance so event emitter yeah and uh, inside the ng on in it because after after loading the component uh, we can pass the value from this method this dot child function dot emit now emit will do it will pass the value from child to parent right so if i say uh, child data so whenever the value will be passed this function will trigger get data and it will log the console so let's run the application and we'll see with the help of ng serve 
now application compiled successfully let's go to the browser and type localhost 4200 press enter see customer work uh, but will open the console because we have logged the data in the console see child data right so whatever the data was passed from the child it logs through this method uh, now we had passed the string and now let's change to array so i'll pass one say name david and let's add the age as well 50 another object name brad age say 60 and save it so let's see i would able to see the array in the console uh, it's compiling up yeah perfect see there are two objects right david and brad now once we have compiled we can show on the browser using ng4 that's not a difficult part but in this particular way you can pass the value from child and in the previous video i had explained pass the value from parent to child uh, so thank you for watching this video if you are new to this tutorial please subscribe this channel and share the link with your colleagues and also press the icon so you, you can able to get the latest notification of my videos thank you